professional ambitious women, it's Mary Jervich of MaryJervich.com, guiding you to accelerated promotions and a life of abundance you can truly enjoy. And in today's accelerated promotion planning tip video, I'm going to answer the question, can poor communication ruin your career? Now, as a promotion planning career strategist, I've had the honor of helping numerous women earn promotions and raises across the country on the spot year after year without current openings, working harder, hoping to be noticed, or even going back to school. And if that is something that you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on, -one on, I can give you more details about that at the end of this video. Now, when it comes to answering the question, can poor communication ruin your career? I'd like to start by sharing a story with you. So years ago, I was implementing a new hiring process at work. This new hiring process had a few interviews in the series. After we got through with the second round, my boss was sure that we had multiple candidates that were perfect for the role. In fact, he was ready to hire multiple people. Well, the third round of interviews is kind of like a show and tell interview. Each candidate was supposed to present in five key areas, the key areas they would be responsible for once in the role. During this time, they would have 10 minutes for each area and what they needed to do was show us, like a show and tell, what they had done previously. They had just gotten done talking to us in the last interview about all of their great work. Now we wanted to see it and we wanted to see the results. So we got started on this third round of interviews. And when the first gentleman went, the results were dismal. He had very little to show. After that interview was over, my boss said, we have failed him. This new system is no good. Then the next woman came in. Same instructions were given to both people and she was able to show us all that she had done that she had told us the day before. All five key areas she passed with flying colors. By the end of that interview, my boss said, Mary, thank you. We just dodged a bullet. Here's the thing. Our communication matters a great deal whenever it comes to earning promotions or getting hired, because most often we have been taught that verbal communication is the only way to advance in our careers. And before we got to that show and tell interview, that other candidate was still on the radar. We were ready to hire him on the spot, all because he was able to communicate and convey his value and his ability. Now, in his case, he communicated a little bit more than his ability, and I don't recommend that we do that. That's called manipulation. But what we do need to do is learn how to harness our communication skills because our communication skills have a direct correlation to our ability to be able to earn promotions and raises. When people think of communication, they most often think about the words that they say. And while words are powerful and they send signals and they have meaning, they only account for about 7% of communication. So what does that mean? What you say isn't as important as how you say it, right? It's a person's tone and body language that compromises the other 93% of the communication. It also means that the best employees and candidates are often not selected. It's the ones who communicate their value the most that are. In what ways can we improve our communication if we want to advance in our careers? Well, I wanna give you my top three tips to improve communication. And in this one, I wanna give you one for each form of communication. Let's start with the words we use. If you wanna enlist your boss's help and you want them to help you advance in your career, then what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna ask for their opinion or their feedback. 
Because what that'll do is that's going to produce a critical response. And therefore, they are going to be focused on the things that you do wrong. Rather, you want to ask for their advice. When you use the word advice, it will produce positive feedback and the person will be committed to helping you advance. And they're going to focus on finding the positives. Number two, tone. Most people have never had voice or communication training and therefore they have untrained voices. In fact, most people are unaware that voice training is even possible. But the truth is, is your voice, it is an instrument and you have the ability to create a variety of sounds. Often as women, we speak in a higher pitched tone and higher pitched tones are not perceived as confident as lower tones. Our goal is not to become a man or to change who we are, but rather it's to use the full range of what we have available to us. Even just speaking louder will help you to appear more confident. Number three, body language. This is the single most important communication tool we have. If I say yes, but shake my head no, you are going to register the no. Not only does our body language convey our confidence, but having good posture actually makes us feel more confident. There are many ways we signal a lack of confidence without even knowing it. Whether we're fidgeting, doing self-soothing motions, if we are clasping our hands tightly, those all send a lack of confidence. When our body is signaling a lack of confidence, it will not matter what we are saying or how loud our volume is because what others will be registering, they will do it with their eyes first. So there you have it. Those are my three tips for improving your communication if you wanna be recognized as the leader in your organization and advance in your career. Now, if you're someone who's been on this path of earning a promotion or raise, and you've been trying for a while, but you just haven't had much luck, and you're ready for some one-on-one -on -one professional coaching, then feel free to reach out to me and head on over to my website, maryjervich.com forward slash masterclass to learn about the proven My Promotion Plan Blueprint that is helping women to confidently go from passed over to promoted in record time. In this short video, you'll learn how to stand out confidently as the obvious choice for promotions and raises year after year. After watching, you'll be invited to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me where we can discuss your specific career goals and how to get you there in less than half the time while maximizing your income. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.